European countries did not agree on the introduction of a price cap for Russian oil. The ambassadors of the European countries did not agree on the introduction of a price cap for Russian oil. Negotiations will continue. Kadri Simpson, European Commissioner for Energy, confirmed it to reporters after arriving to an informal meeting of EU energy ministers on Thursday. Indeed, late last evening, they decided that they will continue the discussions, she said in response to a request to confirm the failure of the first meeting of EU ambassadors to discuss a price cap for Russian oil. According to sources, the ambassadors discussed the possibility of introducing a price cap for Russian oil in the range of 65 to 70 US dollars per barrel. The discussion revealed a deep divide between countries that want to punish Russia, such as Poland and the Baltic states, which consider this cap too high, and countries that receive a significant part of the income from sea transportation of oil. Greece, Cyprus, Malta, and others, which find that the threshold level is too low and threatens to undermine the world oil trade. For the EU, the introduction of a price cap on Russian oil has little to do with the energy and crisis in Europe, since from December 5th, an embargo on the purchase of Russian oil by sea comes into force in the community. Therefore, the main components of the discussion are not energy, but trade and political. The G7, at the initiative of the United States, intends to try to impose a price cap on Russian oil, relying on the fact that most oil transportation and insurance companies are located in states that are members of or affiliated with the G7, such as Greece, Cyprus, Malta, and other small EU members.